Hello, and thank you for joining me today for this discussion of ESG's technical review of Huawei Ocean Store Dorado V6 All Flash. My name is Tony Palmer, and I'm a Senior Validation Analyst with Enterprise Strategy Group. ESG is an integrated IT analyst, research, validation, and strategy firm, and our goal is to help our clients and their customers achieve business results through our research and advisory services, consulting, and custom content solutions. Before we get started, I'd like to talk a little bit about storage trends that we see in our market research. Basically, Flash is everywhere. In 2019, 88% of organizations surveyed by ESG said that some percentage of their on-premises applications and workloads leverage Flash-based storage. 71% of those organizations are using or planning to use NVMe-based Flash. Organizations who say data is their business or plan to offer a data-centric product in the next two years are deploying Flash on more workloads. In fact, they're nearly 16 times more likely to deploy Flash for more than 40% of their apps and their workloads. These same organizations are 36 times more likely to have already deployed NVMe-based solid state. Simply put, nearly everyone who sees a correlation between data and business results is using Flash for their on-premises workloads. Organizations are facing numerous challenges in data storage, according to our research, and the underlying issues that are driving these concerns are consistent year over year. Data growth is accelerating, and the resulting infrastructure uh, required to store and protect that data is getting more costly and complex. Flash storage has been leveraged to try and address some of these challenges for quite a while now. We asked Flash users what benefits their organization has realized as a result of deploying Flash storage. Improved application performance was, was the most common response, cited by 48% of our respondents closely followed by improved total cost of ownership and improved resource utilization. So we asked participants familiar with NVMe to identify which objectives were the motivation behind their interest in the technology. The most common response was a desire to overall future-proof their environment, um, closely followed by improving the performance of existing applications um, and other factors like cost optimization, storage consolidation, and reduced operational expenses uh, were also often cited. So lots of really good, strong reasons why people um, are motivated to move to NVMe. CIOs have told us that they love NVMe technology and can't wait to deploy it. When we asked if they've determined which applications need that performance and where they would deploy it, they said they just want to provide the most performance storage across the entire environment across their whole infrastructure effectively, to remove bottlenecks everywhere without having to spend resources profiling and troubleshooting applications, right? They can just let their app teams make apps and know that the storage is not going to be the bottleneck. We performed hands-on testing and validation of the Huawei Ocean Store Dorado V6, all flash storage. Testing was designed to validate the performance, reliability, data management, and total cost of ownership of the Ocean Store Dorado storage platform with a focus on delivering high levels of predictable performance to tier one mission critical applications. We tested Ocean Store Dorado's ability to sustain these performance levels through various um, storage hardware failures and planned maintenance windows. And we looked at the automated data management capabilities of the platform. And finally, we performed a five year TCO analysis. So the test bed that we used to uh, test performance and availability consisted of 12 Huawei Fusion Server RH series rack servers connected to redundant fiber channel switches via 16G fiber channel. The switches were connected to one Huawei Ocean Store Dorado 18000 V6 storage system with one controller enclosure containing a total of four con controllers and four disk enclosures that were populated with a total of 41 1.92 terabyte NVMe SSD modules. An Oracle Rack 18C Enterprise Edition cluster was deployed on 12 physical servers 
with 6.8 terabytes of capacity allocated across 20 volumes. OLTP testing was performed using the Swingbench and Slob benchmark tools, and we leveraged the Huawei Ocean Store Device Manager interface to manage the environment and monitor the tests. First, we ran an OLTP workload with one database instance using the Slob uh, benchmark utility. The workload was configured for 75% reads and 25% updates. Once the warm-up was complete and the workload stabilized, we let the workload run for 30 minutes before we measured performance. As seen here, the system was servicing about 220,000 sustained IOPS at an average response time of just 81 microseconds. Now, 81 microseconds is extremely low, especially for a real application, and especially at this level of performance, and it's among the lowest we've seen for an all-flash storage system. Low latency is critical, since storage latency can have a direct impact on impl application performance, which can impact the user experience and customer satisfaction. Next, we tested a decision support analytics workload using Oracle Rack and the Swingbench utility. This test was designed to emulate the key aspects of a decision support system, including complex queries and data maintenance. Again, we let the test run for 30 minutes after the warm-up was complete and then measured performance. So as seen here, the Ocean Store Dorado 18000 was able to service more than 846,000 IOPS with under 500 millis microseconds response time. Performance and scalability are key concerns for organizations leveraging data for their business. Faster solutions enable modeling with larger data sets and gaining valuable insights more quickly. High performance database processing is really a mainstream, re mainstream requirement for data centric businesses. Huawei Ocean Store Dorado can accelerate data processing across many applications from genomics to IoT to seismic analysis to predictive and prescriptive analytics. Huawei provides the foundation for organizations to become more agile and begin to align IT with their business goals. Next, we tested the impact of snapshots on performance. With the database workload still running, we created a protection group and added all 20 volumes in the Oracle Rack cluster to it. Then, we configured HyperCDP to take a snapshot every three seconds and set the retention to the maximum of 60,000 snapshots. Now, it's really important to note here that 60,000 is the retention limit for a single volume. HyperCDP can manage up to 2 million total snapshots. Now, as seen here, when HyperCDP started, there was zero performance impact. We ran the workload for 30 minutes and performance remained steady at more than 840,000 IOPS and less than 500 microseconds response time. HyperCDP created more than 12,000 snapshots during this test. This matters because organizations need their data to be protected, but they don't want to pay a penalty for it. Huawei Ocean Store Dorado simply offers penalty-free snapshots to enable continuous data protection with no compromise to performance. The Huawei Ocean Store Dorado V6 all-flash storage platform is designed to ensure high availability and sustained performance through both planned maintenance and unplanned outages. Huawei's implementation of RAID TP can tolerate up to three simultaneous disk failures. Parity data and hot spare space is spread across all disks in the storage pool, which decreases reconstruction time and increases storage availability to better ensure continuous data access. Ocean Store Dorado V6 can house from 2 to 32 controllers running in active active mode. Huawei's smart matrix architecture supports full interconnection between front end interface cards, controllers, and back end disk enclosures, and can tolerate the failure of up to 7 out of 8 controllers. Cache triple copy and continuous mirroring software features enhance fault tolerance and help ensure uninterrupted business continuity. Hypermetro provides a gateway-free, active-active, high-availability solution between Ocean Store Dorado systems, either in the same data center or different data centers that are up to 100 kilometers apart. 
First, we looked at RAID TP rebuild times. With increasing dataset sizes, fast rebuild time after a disk failure or replacement is critical. With the OLTP workload running, we pulled a disk from an array populated with 36 disks that hosted a 7.1 terabyte volume and replaced it to simulate a disk failure. The actions performed by the array to rebuild the data from the failed disk and the elapsed time are shown here. When the array detects the replaced disk, the reconstruction process begins. The rebuild of the 7.1 terabyte volume took just six minutes, which is 33% faster than the OceanStore Dorado V3 we tested in 2018. Next, we pulled three controllers while the system was servicing an OLTP workload using VDBench. When we started the test, the system was servicing about 200,000 IOPS with an average response time of 18.5 microseconds. We powered off controller B, then A, then C to see how Dorado would recover. As we pulled each controller, the remaining controllers took up the slack and response time peaked at 115 microseconds. When controllers A, B, and C were all offline, controller D was servicing the entire 200,000 IOPS workload at 18 microseconds response time. So then we powered up the down controllers one at a time. As the controllers came back online, traffic was evenly balanced. It's important to note that the system never stopped servicing IO and response time averaged under 20 microseconds across the entire test. This is really important, both when recovering from an unplanned event and when executing planned maintenance like a software update or an in-place controller upgrade. Next, we tested Hypermetro in an on-campus setting. With two Ocean Store Dorado V6 systems, we called System A and System B, configured as a Hypermetro pair in different areas in the same campus, we began by running an OLTP workload on an Oracle 12C rack cluster, and each server was dual attached to the SAN and zoned to have access to both controllers on each array. The two arrays were connected via dual FC links to each other. We simulated a failure by pulling the power cord of system B. This shows how the storage responded after Hypermetro moved 100% of the workload onto system A. When system B lost power, there was a brief drop in I.O. and the response time peaked at 4 microseconds, then quickly settled back to 100 microseconds and all I.O. was being serviced by system A. We powered system B back on and watched as Hypermetro automatically recovered. All writes that it accumulated during the outage were synced back to system B completely non-disruptively and I.O. never stopped. Finally, to calculate TCO, we modeled and compared the storage-related costs that could be expected when deploying traditional hybrid storage with SAS-based SSDs and disk and a Huawei OceanStore Dorado V6 with NVMe SSDs. The costs associated with purchasing, maintaining, powering, and cooling the storage systems were calculated in U.S. dollars. The average cost for electricity for businesses in the United States was used to calculate power and cooling costs. Over five years, the TCO for the Ocean Store Dorado 5000 V6 is just over $150,000, which is significantly lower than the hybrid array. Cost savings were similar across all three measured categories, hardware and software, maintenance and support, um, power and cooling. We calculated that the Ocean Store Dorado V6 would provide a 78% overall TCO savings over five years. And it's really worth noting here that given the availability features of the Huawei Ocean Store V6, IT operational costs should be lower as well. Based on our research and experience, SSDs encounter fewer storage failures in the field, which translates into less time and resources spent replacing disks. ESG confirmed that the Ocean Store Dorado V6 sustained more than 220,000 IOPS with an average response time of just 81 microseconds. When we scaled that workload up to a 12 node Oracle rack cluster, we confirmed nearly 850,000 IOPS 
with an average response time of under 500 microseconds. We were particularly impressed with the ability of the system to sustain high performance and continuous data availability with sub millisecond response times through multiple controller and disk failures, through fast RAID rebuilds, and through the failure of an entire system using Hypermetro. The results showed that the five-year TCO of the Ocean Store Dorado is significantly lower than a hybrid storage array in capital outlay, maintenance, and support contracts, as well as power and cooling. In closing, data growth is accelerating and the resulting infrastructure required to store and protect that data is costly and complex. IT is feeling pressure to provide advanced solutions that can seamlessly scale both capacity and performance with continuous availability. In our testing, the Huawei Ocean Store Dorado delivered consistently high performance at extremely low response times. It's clearly well suited to support demanding real world business applications running in a performance critical environment. Huawei has clearly designed Ocean Store Dorado around the dual goal of solving business problems as well as storage problems. It's no surprise that our five-year TCO analysis demonstrated that by deploying an Ocean Store Dorado with NVMe rather than an alternative hybrid storage system, organizations can lower their storage TCO by up to 78% while improving availability and reducing operational effort. If your organization is looking to lower storage TCO while increasing performance, ESG recommends investing in a next generation all flash array and Huawei is definitely worth serious consideration. Thank you very much for your time and attention today and please let me know if you have any questions.